Hi, this is Brent with Hot Jet. Today we're going to show you the operation on our twin cold water jetter. Um, it's got a remote system on it, so it's easy to start and everything. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your water turned on. This particular unit has a feed for each motor, so you're going to have a, a valve on this side and a valve on the other side. You want to make sure you have them both turned on. So we've got our water going into our machines here. And with the remote, all you have to do is flip this switch here. You got your remote activated. You don't have to work with the keys or anything. You might have to give it a little choke in the morning to fire it up. Um, we have our throttles all on the back. So once you've started it up, you pretty well work everything from the back. We have our uh, throttles here for both motors. We have our uh, soap nozzle here, or soap knob, so you can just open that up and close it to run your soap section. So it's pretty well everything's here in the back. We've got our tachometers up there so we can see our tacks and, and our pressure gauge here to help us so we can adjust for our pressure and everything. So we've got uh, the waters on. We're all ready. We're going to go ahead and hook on a the Warthog nozzle unit here onto our hose. Mario, here's our helper. We're gonna see if we can jet out some lines. Go ahead and put that down in there. We've got uh, our valve systems right down here. This is your uh, easy start bypass. You always want to have this in the on position so that when you go to fire it up, it'll be able to flow through the, the tank and, and it'll fire up easier. So um, we've got our regular valve. This is off. So when you set up like this, then you're in operation. And uh, this is off there. So you always want to have them both down like that. We'll go ahead and fire it up. So you'll hit your button once and that'll activate it. Your flood light, your strobe light will kick on. And then you hit that button. Starts up the first one. And you hit your second button. Got both of them going. So now you're fine there. Just go ahead and start your throttle, get them up a little bit. And we're gonna activate our line here. And then we're gonna Close off our bypass.
so now we've done that we'll idle her down just a minute so that you can turn the machine off you want to let them idle just a sec so they're not revved up so you don't get any backfires just hit the red button stop and kills it and there you go now we're going to try another nozzle here this is the big floor scrubber one that he was talking about in his little video this pipe, thing I think scrubber. weighs about 10 or 15 <laughs> pounds it feels like this is gonna take and we're gonna see if it'll scrub the bottom here let's put the stinger on that put the stinger on yeah, okay so oh flip right, right there it's just like a mirror Follow safety. <clears throat> yeah, always safety. Now we're just going to demonstrate this. Generally, you wrench that on pretty good, but you don't want to lose your nozzles. That wrench fits your hand pretty good, bro. Yeah. All right. Always that, insert your nozzle. Put before. that in there first and get her laid in there. Okay, follow the startup procedure. Just follow again. the startup again here. Have our throttles out just a little bit. Hit your button. Fire that one. Fire that one. Bring her up a little. Go ahead and activate it. Shut your bypass so all your water's going through. out a lot of water just like a waterfall there there we go and that's pretty well the setup there let's show winterization real quick and the soap palace soap works okay. and we're wrapped um, up with this when you got the line out then you're going to open your soap nozzle up a little bit and then you want to uh, let that work it take a minute or so and then you'll want to shut this off before you're done jetting so the soap can get out of the line if you leave this on and you turn off your thing here, your, your reel, then it's going to sit and fill your tank full of soap. So you just want to make sure that you have that soap valve turned off before you stop jetting. Um, to right, antifreeze it real quick like, we're, we run windshield washer fluid um, for wherever you're at. So you got your valves, it's a three-way valve on each side. You just flip that to the other position. Make sure you do both of them so that you're drawn. So you have it in the, an in the antifreeze position. You just have your uh, hose out with the valve open. You just fire it up and let it idle. And then when you see the uh, antifreeze come out, you just shut your line back off and then uh, turn your motor off. And then we just release the pressure on there, and you're covered from front to back with the antifreeze. Then in the morning, you just turn it back over to your regular tank mode, put your hose up in here, turn it on and run it, and when you see the antifreeze clear up, pull it away and you put your antifreeze back in your tank for the next go-around. Um, that should about do it. Thank you.